Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre from PAFX. As you see today I am making a recording because uh, I will not be able to uh, publish uh, or sorry to be live uh, this Sunday with you guys but uh, to not uh, let you out in the dark <laughs> I will be making a recording and uh, take a look at the uh, markets and upload the video for you guys so um, yeah let's get started and um, for those of you who've been seeing this video for the first time do not forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and then turn on the notification so you get uh, notified when um, I send a video or where I, when I'm doing a live session and uh, of course please if you like this session do not forget to hit the like button as usual guys we are gonna get started with uh, the disclaimer I really want you to read it carefully to understand about uh, the risk involved in trading and uh, that this session is for educational use only and it is the way I see the market the way I gonna trade the market and should not be seen as a signal in any way at all so um, next week we have um, a trading week where we do have uh, some news release as usual and uh, we're gonna take a look at the most important ones like let's choose all the pairs so we have uh, the full image so here we have the major impact news on the chart as you see we start tuesday with uh, the aussie and um, monetary policy meeting minutes uh, we do have sterling with average earning i think it was a bad number last month so um, a little bit worse than expected last month um, inflation reports hearing uh, I think sterling uh, been very weak or it was very weak the last uh, four weeks and uh, it probably needs some good news to give it some push higher now um, for the US dollar we do have the core retail sale and the retail sales uh, month on month good number on the retail sales month of months and uh, okay number for the core retail sale um, then we do have wage price index uh, quarter on quarter for all aussie we do have uh, draggy speech building permits for the us dollar crude oil inventory even if it says usd it's gonna affect most of most of uh, the oil and the usd cad and uh, on thursday uh, aussie employment and unemployment rate very important uh, news and that gonna make some movement uh, for the aussie for sure and uh, the annual budget release for the new zealand on thursday as well and we end the week with the cad cpi inflation months and months and core retail sales so for the cad it was a bad number last month so worse than expected <clears throat> and uh, lower than the previous for the CPI um, core retail sale was as well a low number as you see here so <clears throat> CAD gonna need these to be good since last week we had also bad numbers for the CAD uh, employment change but the unemployment rate was uh, the same but the employment change was very very bad as you see here so these are the major news event that you should um, be looking at for next week and of course there is a lot of medium impact event that we should be uh, monitoring um, as well but as usual the major ones are the ones that are gonna make the most movement and mean a lot for the fundamental longer term for any pair you are looking at so let's take a look at the chart and we start with the dixie as usual we are on the weekly time frame if you remember guys um, from the last week overview we've been talking about this 9255 level that it is an important level now last week on the daily we did actually break um, inside um, this little range here or break above this level on daily but as you see for the weekly um, we've got uh, 
a nice uh, inverted hammer here as a possible rejection from these levels and if we go down to the daily you see what happened we broke above the monthly r1 we've got a nice evening star formation here um, based on these three candles <coughs> and uh, we end the week closing uh, back at that uh, 92.55 level which is an important uh, support and resistant level now uh, this move to the downside on the uh, dollar um, was um, since we had a little bit of uh, slowing down cpi number was the months on months was lower than expectation the core cpi was lower than expectation for the dollar we had ppi months on months uh, which was also 0.1% uh, uh, lower than the previous and lower than expectation so there was um, some fundamental change that probably made the market start uh, selling a little bit of the dollar but i still think since we broke above the 200 moving average above the ch this uh, long-term uh, channel been going uh, to the downside here and the day we broke above this uh, range down here i told you guys that this is um, this break above here that would change our mid-term bias for the dollar to be bullish and we should keep uh, doing so i think the market is now pricing in a possible uh, rate hike in June and um, uh, the more uh, weeks goes the more the market is more certain that we're gonna have a um, rate hike in June and I think it is time to price in that now as you see the move to the upside been very strong as I've been oversold and start going down a little bit we had some bearish divergence on the RSI and it is uh, legit to have some correction now and uh, probably before we get another leg to the upside uh, for the dixie on lower time frame uh, we still have uh, a major level that we should keep an eye at because i think this area down here need to be broken uh, before we see some uh, deeper correction on the us dollar so if this happened for the dixie and the retest does not uh, manage to go back above this area here then one could expect some deeper correction uh, to the downside next week now this would not change my uh, longer term bias which is uh, to the upside but uh, if this happened as i said we could have some um, deeper correction for the us dollar especially if we start seeing some uh, bad numbers coming out for the US dollar on the calendar and that will start with Tuesday and the retail sales for example if this number got much um, worse than expected then one could start thinking of possibly that this level gonna break and we gonna have a deeper correction before a continuation higher yeah so that was it about the dixie guys gold as usual uh, trading view give me an extra candle here for some reason so don't look at this one this is only one candle this is the friday candle here so gold what did gold do last week we've been here uh, inside this lower range for a while using the 200 daily moving average as support and this important structure down here i've been talking about the 1300 for a while now guys and we've been trading that 1300 every time uh, we got we got a chance so this is a major level still um the 200 moving average at that same area on the daily is an important dynamic support and we do have a structure to work with now last last thursday we broke above this range as you see we had a daily close above that and friday it was an attempt to reach higher to probably test the 1328 and the monthly pivot point which was the midpoint where we have trouble going on here as you see uh, many times been a trouble area up here so friday was attempt to break above uh, it didn't happen on the lower time frame uh, these are 
my markups in the room after um, uh, after we had this break here uh, I said to the guy that we now could try to buy the 1320 area and we got very very nice uh, bounce from here and we got another bounce here so we got a couple of trades that went very good trading this one toward uh, R1 during that day and R1 the day after but then as you see here uh, Friday was um, the New York session was uh, sell the gold all the way back down toward this uh, support now so in my opinion as far as we are holding above this structure and where the price is testing right now could still be a possible buy uh, for the gold to try to buy for another retest of this high or probably the 13 20 uh, 28 area up here could be uh, a good idea so if not broken um, as soon as you see a nice uh, bullish signal here whatever your trigger is could be a good idea to buy this since we now broke outside of this range and as far as this holding as support we could try to buy here on bullish signal uh, for gold we do have already some uh, uh, hidden divergence as you see between uh, this low and this low here uh, major bull uh, bullish uh, hidden bullish divergence is happening we did reach the lows here on the one hour time frame on the four hour we still have some room to the downside on the RSI though so keep an eye on this level for gold if um, you get any bullish evidence on uh, one hour time frame or so you could try a buy otherwise if we break below there is a risk that we uh, test lower back toward the 1305 again since um, this would be the major structure to stop this to happen um, oil <coughs> we did reach the monthly r1 which is an important level now oil been moving to the upside pricing in a possible um, um, less supply from the Iranian since uh, USA uh, and Trump did say they're gonna um, get out of the nuclear uh, deal and that making investors a bit worried about the supply of oil if that happened and um, sanctions start coming and uh, that Iran cannot sell, sell oil as they do right now so the move been mostly uh, the bullish move been based on that fact and um, as you see here when we had that um, uh, news uh, from the CNN that um, said um, that from some kind of source said that uh, the US will not leave the um, nuclear deal that why we had this very strong spike to the downside to just later on um, see that there was nothing um, right about that and then we got Trump saying that they will leave the deal and that's why oil went back all the way to reach the monthly R1 which is an important resistant so it's uh, all about headlines right now and if you're gonna trade oil you really need to uh, l keep an eye on those headlines and uh, know what's going on uh, particularly about the Iranian deal so for the technical levels I think uh, buying oil if nothing fundamentally change if we do not have anything uh, major than that been said so far there will still be a uh, worry in the market about uh, Iran not be able to sell and uh, we could use this uh, 69.45 level or uh, down here to uh, be a possible bounce back toward the monthly R1 uh, I think for this level to get broken we should uh, have uh, once again some news some good news about uh, the Iranian deal and then we probably could see a break retest and another bounce down toward these lows 
as for now i don't think we're gonna see that there's nothing that says that will happen <clears throat> what we know that um france and germany mostly are fighting to um, do something about the situation because they really want to keep the deal with the iranian and um yeah we should keep a, a very close eyes on those headlines if you are trading oil <clears throat> But technical levels, MR1 is an important resistance. This could be a midterm support um, if reach it. And down here is another support level to keep an eye at. Yeah. So let's take a look at some Forex. Uh, Aussie New Zealand, we've been buying this thing in my room uh, during this whole move also, uh, almost, sorry, especially after the break above this level here. And then we've been looking at this as possible resistance, but when we broke above it, we start looking to see this as a possible support level. And we've been buying these uh, retests a while now and last week it was a great move to the upside after uh, the news and um, it did move uh, very very nicely um, um, <coughs> based on uh, those news especially that uh, we had the trade balance for the Austra australian dollars coming in a great numbers and um, at this just ahead of that we had some good unemployment change for the new zealand but that did not uh, help the price uh, much we had the rbi um, rate uh, statement as well so all that and um, that we had a great support level was a very very uh, good idea to buy this test here um, especially when the price moving very slow slowly in such a slope most of the time this mean a possible correction so it went off great from here um, closed the trade at this uh, high up here since we've now reached a possible resistant level oops this is was the thing i want to do move this uh, pink one uh, and the reason is as you see guys been tested many times as resistant then support here uh, resistant again resistant again so it is an important level the price is still below the 200 daily moving average there is a room probably to test this area in the 200 moving average probably testing monthly or two as well but um over bought rsi uh, structure looking left i think there is a possibility for more up but um, why to buy the highs so for me i think it's better to wait for a possible correction back down toward this broken structure and then uh, try to buy another bounce higher um, or at least a 50 percent retracement of that move would be good as well that happened to be at that broken structure as you see here uh, so this is the idea this very strong momentum here we should not be uh, fighting that but i am not selling here uh, as well i would much better uh, wait for a possible correction and then try to buy to anticipate the ongoing move here this uh, bullish uh, continuation that was it for Aussie New Zealand. Aussie USD um, did find support at monthly S1 here perfectly as you see, uh, making a very strong hammer uh, the day after a continuation higher here on the uh, on uh, Thursday the 10th. So uh, this was um, a very very strong move to the upside uh, looking left we never had such a candle and um, that was based on uh, mostly on um, weak dollar since uh, that day uh, we've got the uh, inflation numbers both cpi month and months and core cpi months and months for the us dollar which was weak numbers <coughs> so 
very nice rejection but still if you look at the chart we never broke the previous high we never close above it so basically this is still a bearish structure but uh, for me the thing that we now back above uh, 0.75 uh, which was an important uh, support and resistant level as you see I think that um, we still have uh, uh, some more up to the upside now since we've entered here. This is another one uh, signal that I sent in the room after this breakout. Do not chase the move. We said wait for the retest. We got the retest in the uh, in the two hour after that that followed the move, and we got a very nice uh, trade from the. Um, 0.75 back toward this uh, structure here so um, it's still the same in my opinion as you see the 200 moving uh, moving average on the one hour been acting as good resistant and now did act as good support after the break um, I still think if we got another retest to that uh, 075 area to try to take a buy first target have to be this structure here because we do not know if it's gonna break or not and uh, if broken one could start looking for a possible monthly uh, pivot point uh, to be reached um, as well so on the four hour time frame uh, you see this area up here could be uh, the major resistance if you got this move and if we break the neckline here that would be great and then your ultimate target should be somewhere at this structure up here if that happened that would give you uh, inverted head shoulder uh, uh, head and shoulder sorry so this shoulder head shoulder here and um, could end up here if we've got that movement <coughs> Chief Jappy still looks looking heavy. You know, guys, that I've been telling you to sell this since we, since we broke the trend line. So we've been selling this for a while now. And every time we break a major structure, I kept saying sell, sell, sell. And now we broke another major structure here, uh, closed the gap. And in my opinion, this before a reversal, I wanted to see uh, the touch of the 107.60 area down here, uh, then possible reversal. Because structure wise, there is nothing left now. And last week we held monthly S2, retested monthly S1, couldn't, could not break higher. Um, but um, now, we are trading inside this uh, little range. So for next week, keep an eye on this range. Sell monthly S1 if tested. Buy this low down here just below monthly S2 until you see a break of this box. Um, if we break the box like this, we probably gonna reach that 107.60 uh, as I told you earlier reach this level down here okay that would be great because i would much better i would prefer and be more uh, sure that we can take a buy down here in such a level it is very cheap now uh, and would be much better to buy it but if we've got a break above monthly s1 and the retest did hold above it then we could start looking to buy uh, toward 110.40. That could be another resistant level, yeah? So very interesting chart. Been, it been a money machine uh, since this whole move started up here. And as you see now, this gonna be a very important support level if we test it. Euro Aussie now did reach this um, major trend line uh, on Friday last week. I'm not sure if we broke yet. No, we're still above the uh, 100 moving average as well. The 50 is broken, but 
all the moving average is still uh, pointing to the upside uh, but what happened uh, here that on the daily time frame uh, we never got a higher high higher close that would be much better if uh, you want to trade to the upside to say like we now broke the high we wait for a correction and continuation that didn't happen so this is a little bit worrying since since we do now have a major swing uh, uh, with a lower high here but we've been following this trading these uh, moves on uh, lower time frame every time we break a structure retest make a flag we try to sell it and it's been working very very well at the same time we've been keeping an eye on this major trend line and last friday i told the guys in the room that we are gonna need to keep an eye on this uh, last low because it's gonna be tested and probably give it a trouble and that what exactly happened as you see uh, we bounced at the level to the pip back up now one could argue as well that this was um, late friday and pros possible profit taking from the uh, uh, beers that been shorting uh, the pair that could be as well and that all what's going on uh, could be only profit taking retest of structure and uh, sell continuation i would not say sell this now until you see a break of the trend line retest and then you could sell it back down toward monthly s2 down here yeah so it is still possible to sell but not yet because this area it uh, seems to be an important structure otherwise if the pair managed to break back inside this upper range and since the major trend is still to the upside one could expect if we got the retest a possible buy from this level to retest these previous highs is possible or mostly um, uh, or probably the uh, monthly pivot point <clears throat> so very interesting chart and uh, very clear levels to use <clears throat> but once again guys you see how important this trend line have been so if we break below it we most surely gonna go down toward monthly s2 as well so keep an eye on this eurocad <clears throat> now been going down in a very strong manner as you see <clears throat> and last thursday we did reach the 200 daily moving average that been acting as very strong uh, dynamic support once here here again here again and last week at this major area we had the monthly s2 we had the trend line we had the daily 200 moving average and this horizontal support <coughs> sorry for that guys so looking left here you see why this uh, is an important um, support level for me and the thing is that we did uh, reject this area a back above support make me start looking for a possible at least correction higher here uh, the rsi been uh, on the oversold and now is almost back inside um, this channel uh, up here making um, a morning star formation with these three candles so there is a possibility that we see some higher correction here on lower time frame you see it uh, better um, i am still in this uh, long uh, we took the trade based on um, this rejection here monthly s2 bullish engulfing on the four hour and um, when um, the day after we got the retest of the daily pivot point i i went long from this area with a stop loss below the lows here so i'm expecting uh, a, a little bit of continuation higher but keep an eye on this uh, monthly s1 level could act as a possible resistant up here yeah so if you have a long you should keep an eye on this level nothing was changed with this bearish chart until we break above the four uh, four hour structure here above this high 
if we break that we do the retest and do not uh, go back uh, down again then there is a possible uh, for a deeper correction on the pair so it is a counter trend trade uh, you should be aware of that based on the bounce at the monthly S2 daily 200 moving average back inside the trend line back above the horizontal support um, and it is counter this uh, downtrend here uh, and that's why so <coughs> be aware of that yeah euro sterling <coughs> still on the daily <coughs> making higher highs and higher lows as you see this is higher low, higher low, higher high, and another higher high. And um, a very strong move uh, last week on Super Thursday for the sterling. Um, no one was expecting a rate hike, and that did not happen. But um, the fact that the sterling uh, been not doing good and... Um, that euro get much stronger against the us dollar as well based on those cpi numbers the same day we got a very very double effect for a stronger euro against the the sterling and we got this very strong bounce i wasn't able to buy the news itself but um, <clears throat> we have this very nice flag that i sent out in the room that we're gonna try to buy the daily pivot point went well but uh, no continuation here yet late friday so this is still possible for a continuation from here let me take off this from my chart right now um, so for the pair and next week i think as a technical level we could uh, try to keep an eye on uh, this level again if tested to try to take another bounce from this level anticipating to reach these highs up here uh, at least as first target if broken of course we do have much more room to the upside <clears throat> and um, if we take a Fibonacci retracements and see if we have any confluence at that level once again the 50% would be a good confluence happening at this uh, you see it clearly a good support and resistant level here yeah so that's the plan for uh, that pair um, Euro Jappy we've been talking about uh, this to maybe act as support and it did act as support um, last week I told you guys that we are trading now uh, to the downside we were below 200 moving average there was no structure looking left so I said let's keep selling this and if we break previous structure that we probably gonna reach this level before a possible bounce that exactly what happened and we've been selling it down all the way and when we reach this level things start changing as you see bulls did enter the market here clearly very strong move to the upside broke back above the monthly s1 retest and possible continuation we are now trading at the neckline of this possible inverted uh, head and shoulder shoulder head shoulder here so uh, the neckline is not really broken yet you could argue it got broken by this close here but better um, to see uh, for me to see a clear break and close than try to buy the retest if you're not in the trade already so uh, for this pair i think um, any retest toward this area down here monthly s1 all the way down to this uh, right shoulder could be a possible level to try a buy or if we open strongly and continue higher then you would wait for the retest and another move up uh, the major resistance or the stronger resistance let's go back to the daily um, is up here the uh, 131.50 is a good uh, resistant level 
and um, a little bit higher you had the neckline of this uh, structure and probably the 200 daily moving average gonna be somewhere in this area that could act as a good resistant yeah so there is a possibility for some more up here keep an eye at first at the 131 handle and then uh, the 13150 as well <coughs> So let's see if this head and shoulder will continue uh, to the upside for this pair. Euro New Zealand. Very strong move higher, correction lower. Uh, we've talked about this uh, bearish engulfing and that we uh, probably gonna at least correct lower. The correction of this leg did end at the 50 moving average. And um, on uh, Thursday, uh, we've got a very strong move to the upside here uh, especially after the euro got some strengths and uh, we had during uh, the night uh, the policy statement and the official cash rate for the New Zealand dollar and the press conference so New Zealand was very weak already late Wednesday or early uh, Thursday morning during Asian session so uh, we've got a very strong move the bull flag here got broken and now we could um, argue a possible continuation higher um, Friday we had a very nice uh, flag on this one as well been sent out in my trading room as a possible uh, trade uh, especially that we have such a wide pivot range during that day the daily pivot point was a perfect place to start looking for bullish evidence uh, we started with this one here bullish engulfing uh, tested a little bit lower then we got a piercing pattern here which was a very good one and then the breakout of the flag now what happened late friday was another uh, little flag happening here and I am expecting some uh, continuation. The resistance gonna be up here and uh, or a little bit higher as you see, but there is on the four hour, if you see, if you look uh, left here, we've had uh, this level been acting as good uh, support and resistance. So, Keep an eye if this got broken and if especially if this got broken there is a lot of more room to the upside on uh, on this one yeah because if we broke above this then our next uh, trouble level should be the previous high up here so for now very interesting chart impulse correction breakout another correction and probably a breakout i hope that because I am still in the trade um, I would love to see this high broken so I can move my stop loss to break even here somewhere EURUSD broke actually previous low here as you see we've trading below the daily 200 moving average now for the first time in a while as you see here and um, yeah very strong move to the downside with very very little of corrections there was like uh, almost no corrections at all on daily basis on one hour and four hour we had some corrections so this trend line is now broken we've got a nice morning star formation down here it's a reversal pattern uh, and it's on a daily time frame happening at the monthly s2 but let's not forget we breaking below major structure so i think longer term we're still uh, looking to the downside but rsi oversold and the move was looks extended some so some correction higher uh, could possibly happen especially with the dixie starting to reversing down as well um so for next week if you manage if we manage to trade back above monthly s1 as well that could be a signal for a possible continuation first trouble area is up here 
uh, the uh, 12090 up here is uh, first trouble level and then uh, we do have this structure this broken structure and the monthly pivot point level here could be another uh, trouble level so for our time frame from last friday all europe been giving a very nice flags and by the daily pivot point uh, trades another good one we took toward uh, the r1 and um, at that same level we had the monthly s1 as well uh, we are now above the 200 moving average on the one hour and i'm expecting some more continuation here now after this nice rounded bottom uh, that we probably reach these levels up here um, for levels to look at i think uh, down here once again could be if we reach this level to retest this structure here could be a possible area to look for uh, bullish evidence on a lower time frame this is a counter trend trade again guys a very strong trend uh, to the downside so you're gonna be careful about your take profit levels if we go back to the daily you see we've you, it's like fighting a very very strong move to the downside so be aware of that i'm not saying that um, the euro gonna be uh, super strong for a long time but we are taking the opportunities that probably gonna happen for short-term trading <clears throat> sterling aussie sitting at support right now um, you see this uh, structure here uh, on the daily never got broken uh, we tried to break below it on a lower time frame but then friday was a doji down here there was no um, continuation but if you look at how strong uh, the thursday candle was and um, since we broke below this um, major structure here um, i sent out both on facebook and uh, telegram i think um, and of course in my trading room that we want to trade the retest it didn't happen at the exact same level as i uh, my arrows end but that will never happen but um, we've got a nice correction toward this uh, broken structure then follow it by a very good bearish engulfing candle f before that we had a nice rejection and inverted hammer and this bearish engulfing candle was a good uh, signal and if you go down to the one hour you had this nice triple top with uh, divergence on the rsi so there was all the signal that this would reverse as you see here uh, triple top uh, and bearish divergence and then what was even better that we broke retest continuation another retest so there was many many um, uh, ways to to sell this toward uh, support down here so now that did happen the trade is taken we are back below the monthly s2 once again and sitting at support uh, and we got late friday a bullish engulfing on the four hour so we should keep an eye on where the price is testing right now let's go back to the daily and show you the importance of this level we are back at the lows of um, the brexit day here as you see uh, and it has been a good resistant level that may act as support did act as support first time but now the price is sitting at that level again for more downside you want to see a break below this low here of four hour or one hour and see that the level get really got broken and that the retest failed to enter back above here and then next target would be the 1.76 uh, down here as a daily but if we uh, do hold there is a possibility that we do have now a, possi a possible double bottom at this structure 
and uh, for this to hold you want to see some good news for the sterling and probably some bad news uh, for the Aussie for this double bottom uh, to be able to move higher again okay um, sterling cad another sterling pair that been getting hit after hit um, we broke we retest and we continued and um, Thursday we broke below this structure so this structure here is, is totally broken on daily basis and the market did find support at monthly S2 which is an important support uh, if you trade the pivot point you know that um, S2 is an um, important level and that uh, there is a lots of eyes on those levels but structure wise nothing has changed lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs all the way down here lower low and lower highs and this was our last lower low so one could uh, keep anticipating that this uh, probably would continue making the same lower lows and lower highs and keep moving toward this structure down here before that we do have the daily 200 moving average been acting as dynamic support and resistant as you see support support broken retested at resistant retested at resistance and then support support and now if we test it it may act as dynamic support again who knows and uh, depends on uh, how the fundamentals gonna look for um, both uh, sterling and cad we know that there is a lot of brexit talks right now and so far it been uh, bad economic numbers as well for the sterling so next week uh, on uh, tuesday we are gonna have uh, some major news for the sterling that we should be looking at the average early uh, sorry the average earnings index and the inflation reports hearings uh, for the sterling that is the only almost the only major news we're gonna have for for the sterling next week um, so if that keep uh, looking bad then this is very possible to happen that we continue lower uh, for the technicals um, S2 should be um, you should keep seeing this as uh, important support uh, so if you only want to trade technicals without looking at the fundamentals you want to see a break below and then the retest otherwise it could be another level to uh, get a bounce from on the pair uh, and um, retest these highs up here as far as we are inside this range this uh, gonna happen or break retest then continuation lower for more up we need to take out this major swing so we need to break above it and that the retest hold and then probably to test a monthly pivot point uh, that was for the technical levels uh, only so remember you need to have both so keep your eyes on those news and on those fundamentals as well sterling usd since this week here we've got the signal once again at the 200 day uh, weekly moving average british engulfing week followed by two very strong bearish week and last week was a doji down here at this uh, monthly s2 as well been testing many monthly s2 and did hold so far and um, yeah another um, sterling pair that did reach the lows of brexit once again this was the brexit week so it is at an important level already and last week it didn't do much we opened and closed almost at the same level as you see when we look at the weekly we ended up getting a doji here so there was no continuation in the bearish move so one another pair that you should be looking at on uh, tuesday if fall uh, in case um, we've got um, bad numbers this will uh, probably continue 
to the downside it been inside this range very choppy um, last week making what looks like as a possible bottom we got the rate hike release here uh, spike up spike down and then back inside the range uh, so this for me now is an important range is an important box this is uh, the box that you need to keep an eye at uh, for next week keep selling the high buying the low until we got a break to the upside or a break below would send us once again uh, even lower uh, this time because on the daily i think the major support is uh, this swing down here but we do have another level the 134 is another important level looking left why the 134 is an important one to keep on your chart keep your eyes on that and as you see the 200 moving average here uh, it been hugging the 200 moving average trading above it trading below it but no real break yet of this uh, important um, dynamic support and resistance yeah seems to be a very interesting week uh, new zealand usd you remember guys i said i didn't like that the pair did this uh, correction higher when we got that during uh, the weekly overview cause it never reached my uh, important support level uh, and then we've got moved all the way down did test the level and got a huge rejection here on thursday and uh, that was after we got the first move to the downside was after the New Zealand uh, monetary policy and the uh, official cash rate got released uh, and was a big sell off. But then when we got the CPI and uh, core CPI for the USA, uh, it did reject from this level back up. It is still a very strong bearish trend. It is still nothing changed in the structure but we do have a very strong rejection uh, from the monthly s1 and i had this level marked on my chart because when we reach such a neckline as this and the 78.6 fibonacci retracement um, is a confluence level as well so we've got this rejection back up but nothing has changed in the chart uh, even on the four hour we're still in a bearish structure with lower lows and lower highs for next week look for the level down here once again if you find any bullish evidence on the one hour or so you probably get another bounce higher but uh, there is a possibility that we break and if that happens if we break below this low there would be a lots of stop losses here and there will be a very strong move to test this important level and probably down here uh, where we do have the s2 otherwise if this is a real rejection now based on that major daily candle uh, i think uh, the monthly s1 uh, if so gonna be defended and we uh, probably get a bounce and you want to see um, some major highs swing highs got broken here to um, really be confident that we, there will be some deeper correction it really needs some deeper correction after such a huge move to the downside very strong but then it start fading out a little bit making um, um, some corrections um, on the four hour but daily we do not ha really have any uh, major corrections and as you see guys this area here every time the pair trading inside this area the move been huge without correction here to the upside the same and to the downside the same here is the structure where we used to have troubles at so um, yeah those are the scenarios for this one usd cad this was 
a very very uh, strong ride here we've been choppy 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 we've got sick trading this channel uh, during this whole uh, consolidation and I've been saying the breakout side of the channel is gonna be strong and we got a very very strong break to the upside here um, after the um, uh, the CPI number Thursday for the US dollar we've got uh, the rejection so the day before that uh, we've got a very nice break then we've got the CPI numbers that did uh, send the pair back down from an important uh, 1.300 uh, level up here major resistant um, even handle number uh, psychological level and then uh, add to that um, some bad news and uh, there you go you get your um, bounce to the downside and um, we went all the way down here we've got the retest we've called this one also in the room after the break we've got the correction and we've got the bounce to the downside so back at monthly pivot point now uh, we've got another move higher uh, during the New York session uh, on Friday after the employment change numbers from the cat which was bad numbers so the pair did manage to based on those news to break above the monthly pivot point retest and probably continuation S but we should keep an eye on this 128 been a very strong support during this whole period and i'm expecting it to be a possible uh, resistant for next week and probably give you a bounce so keep an eye on that level um, especially if the Dixie uh, really gonna correct lower uh, it may happen that you get some uh, rejection at uh, this level here uh, for next week um, as of CAD news uh, the only major news gonna be on Friday next week for the CAD and that is the CPI month to months and the core retail sales and of course on Wednesday we do have crude oil inventory that used to uh, move oil and if oil move US CAD uh, moves as well so those are the news events that you should be looking at for this pair but as first keep an eye on this uh, 128 I think now that we broke strongly below this structure again there will be some possibilities that we're gonna get rejected and possibly test the uh, 126.60 down here as a possible support level USD Jappy still sideways nothing's changed we're still trading uh, inside this uh, 108.80 toward uh, 110 it is um, an important resistance here the 110 been rejected twice uh, around uh, the uh, daily 200 moving average um, the RSI is making some divergence now we have one two three tops divergence based on uh, from this high to this high it is a clear bearish divergence but you see this move is still uh, a strong one to the upside but last week we could not break a higher high we didn't really break a lower low but the market been showing its intention to go lower uh, we violated but never closed below this low here the uh, 109 was an important support we tested below it but never closed below it and the 110 was another important resistance so that is your range basically for next week guys um, you should and need to keep an eye on that um, 110 area is your resistant that need to be broken for more up and uh, the 109 as you see here 
been tested, tried to break, couldn't break it. You could fine tune it to 108.80 as well as a range if you want to be safe. In my opinion, keep buying this slow, selling this high until we see a break above or a break below. Uh, the below break, if that happen, you need to know that uh, this area, the 108.50 is another possible uh, support level. Looking left, you see why uh, been a very strong area that been traded many, many times as support and resistant. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, Bitcoins still having uh, major troubles with the 200 daily moving average from the um, weekly overview of last week i told you guys we have this range the 9700 down to 8700 as an important range and that we should be buying and selling the highs until we see one broken now the 8700 got broken and for now i think we should be try to buy uh, sorry sell any retest toward this level in anticipation to reach the 7800 uh, as the first target uh, so we are back below this range broke this neckline uh, back below the 200 moving average for the four hour uh, this is my uh, first thought when i look at this chart to sell this and the last chart for today is the Dow of course uh, as you see guys uh, this uh, chart been coiling up here and getting narrower and narrower and as I said last week this uh, 200 daily moving average is a very important support and that we should keep an eye on that and that we had a possible resistance at this trend line now the trend line we've got a little bit of rejection but then broke it and kept moving higher and higher toward this important uh, resistance now so where the dow is testing right now is a very important uh, midterm uh, resistant uh, what happening on the rsi is that we do have already a hidden bearish divergence as you see the rsi is already making a higher high when we do have equal highs actually on the chart so very important area right now what where we are testing the 24800 is uh, resistant and it is a sell level uh, actually so next week look for signals here for a possible um, sell scenario uh, if this to continue higher you want to see a break of this level if this level got broken on like one hour or four hour time frame then there is a possibility that we keep moving to retest these highs up here or even this uh, major swing high up here um, very interesting chart for next week on the dow and um, yeah i think that was the last market yeah it was so uh, thank you very much guys uh, once again uh, please hit the like button if you do like those sessions so i can keep doing them and uh, of course if you didn't subscribe the channel yet do so and put on the notifications uh, for those of you interested in uh, my uh, trading uh, chat room or uh, in my course, um, I, the course registration uh, have started now. Uh, all you need to do is click the link for my uh, page in the description below this video and you will find all the information you need. Thanks a lot. Trade safe. See you next week. Bye bye.